Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is quick radiology, quick rats. So we're going to discuss today what are the causes for basal ganglia calcification. Basal ganglia calcification. Okay guys, so what are the causes for this? Remember the most important being the idiopathic, okay? And the other is pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Pseudo hypoparathyroidism, right? And then hypoparathyroidism. The and there is a syndrome known as a far syndrome. It's a genetic uh, disease syndrome, okay? So in this, the patient will have clumsiness, fatigability, right? And uh, what you call uh, unsteady gait, low slurred speech, dysphagia, movement, involuntary movements of the muscles or cramping, seizures can be there, okay? So this is due to the deposition of the calcium in the basal ganglia, okay? So um, especially in what you call um, lenticular nucleus and particularly the globus pallidus, okay? And the other syndrome is we have what you call... Uh, Cocaine syndrome, cocaine syndrome, two syndromes you should remember, okay, so it's a, it's a cocaine syndrome you know very well, it's a characterized by what you call growth failure, okay, impaired development of nervous system and abnormal sensitivity to the sunlight, very important, okay, it's also known as a premature aging, okay, and other features they will have hearing loss, eye problems, blah blah blah, okay, I'm gonna discuss about this in later video, right guys, so, and the other Poisonings like carbon monoxide, lead poisoning, okay, other causes, and even toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis, remember. Whereas calcification in the in is a periventricular in congenital CMV infection, remember, okay. So these are the important causes for the basal ganglia calcification. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.